us out as far as, you know, getting the fruits and veggies some, we don't always get. So, you know, that did help us out as far as, you know, adding all that to them eating, you know, a lot more of those uh, fruits and veggies. Mm-hmm. Okay. And how helpful was it, Denise, to set a goal? I think it was easy to set the goal um, as far as, you know, um, following through on it. it. I really didn't find a problem with it. Um, like Erica did mention, you know, sometimes going to Walmart, some, they were limited on certain stuff. So that's the only hard part. But um, and Walmart is, you know, a good distance for me as well. So um you know, I would just have to wait till the next time I was able to make the trip. So I think if they were, if they had the product more often, it would have been a little easier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're on the last set of questions. So thank you for hanging in this far. Um, so overall, what would you say you liked best about the program? How easy it was, how easy it was to sign up and how easy it was to use how easy how helpful um the fact that you know we were able to get that amount and you know be able to buy more than what we usually get i you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um and i i know erica the question is about whether you would do it again i know you already mentioned that you would do 100%, it a hundred percent i would do it again a hundred percent most definitely i would love to be able to do that again um it helped out a lot great and if you were trying to get a friend or family member to join a program like this what would you tell them how easy it was. I actually did get a family member to uh, join. My cousin has a little girl um, and I told her about it and she, she was like, really? And I had even messaged Leo and said, uh, you know, I have somebody that may be interested. Is there still room in the program? And he said, of course, just have her text me. And that's as simple as it was. So I would just tell them that it's awesome. And it's your kids will eat a lot more fruits and veggies and, you know, you get to try more things. Whereas before, you go into the store and you're trying to get just what's on your, your list. So that way you can, you know, be cost effective and come home and make that. Now this gets you to get out of your box a little bit and try, you know, different things or add different things to your list that you wouldn't normally. And I, it's just an awesome program. Thank you. Denise, how I, about you? I would tell them the same, how easy and how, uh, how easy it was to use and, you know, how helpful it was also. And, um, I do have one friend that I did tell about, um, I don't know if she ever did it. Um, if she ever did decide to do it, I haven't, I have talked to her, but you know, I, I just didn't mention it anymore, but you know, I would always tell her like that I would go to, you know, when I would go to Walmart and use the card and, I told her, don't be embarrassed. You know, it's not one of those things to be embarrassed about, you know, apply and, you know, it's, it'll help you out. It'll help the kids out. Uh, she has three kids. So, um, like I said, I'm not sure if she ever did use it or if she ever did apply for it, but I would say it would be, you know, an, a great program to, to get into if you're ever, you know, it also helps, you know, when you're lacking, um, you know, when you're financially lacking, you know, those funds, you know, just being able to go and getting the fruits and vegetables, you know, you, like I said, you can always make different things with all that. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the last question, how did your experience with this program compare to any other food programs that you've done? So I have, work for my um, youngest and you know the having to go in there constantly and having the card reloaded and things like that that can be kind of cumbersome um you know to take him in there and having to 
you know, before having him like weighed and measured and things like that and potentially pricking his finger, you know, that kind of thing. Like, I understand why it's done, but if all programs were like this, I think they'd have a lot more participants. Um, and, you know, like she had mentioned earlier, what she said about her friend not being embarrassing. Sometimes it can be, you know, because when, especially like with the WIC program, when you go to the register, you have to let them know that you have WIC for certain items because there's a certain key that they have to hit on their registers in order for you to use your WIC card. And I guess that's why it was so easy to use the self-checkout because you didn't have to explain anything to anybody. Nobody else even around you knew what you were doing. You just selected Walmart gift card and, you know, swiped it there. So I feel like it was, it, all more programs should be like this one. Yes, I'm also on WIC and uh, I have used WIC at Walmart and oh God, I don't know if you've had that experience, Erica, but Walmart has changed the way they do stuff. Um, I was buying a little bit of um, school supplies that the kids needed and, you know, I had never had a problem, but, you know, I was also taking out my WIC and they told me that I had to... They basically made me return everything and they had to ring up everything separately. Like they had to do my WIC first and I had to do that on the WIC card. And then I had to do the school supplies. So honestly, I just left. I left everything there and I didn't get anything. Um, wow. I don't know why I had to do it that way. But, you know, um, but the the fact that, you know, when I would go to self-checkout with the... um the veggie card and stuff, you know, I would just ring everything up and, you know, I would do the vegetables first and that would go through. And then, you know, I would do the whatever yeah, else I was buying. So I, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if you've had that experience with WIC, but I just thought it was like the most horrible experience ever. But yeah. I would say I haven't bought anything at Walmart with the WIC because of that. And then like ATV and our ATVs, we have like signs that let you know exactly what items are WIC at Walmart. It doesn't have that. So you're kind of like, mm, is this, you know, is this included? Is it not? So um I hadn't bought anything from WIC, but even then you have to let them know. And I didn't know that. So see, it's a good thing you told me because that would not have, would have been embarrassed. And I probably would have been like you and left everything. Yeah. There. Like, and also, like, I'm just, I've never experienced that you know it's like yeah. when I go to HEB you know I scan everything together and you know WIC you know it picks up and whatever else you know I need to pay with you know cash or whatever you know I, I pay and so when uh she told me that and I had gotten a good amount of items so I was like I am not gonna go through this because she had to like ring it up like she had to scan it and cancel scan and cancel and I was like yeah I don't have time for this <laughs> you know uh yeah so yeah I just thought that was yeah so you might be careful with that then if you if you haven't yeah. experienced that at Walmart no, but, yeah haven't. that happened to me and like I said I won't I won't use WIC at Walmart anymore yeah, yeah and, and, and it, like she said you have to let them know that you're using that you know whether wherever it's at and that's what I love so much about the fruit and veggie card because you didn't have to tell anybody. You could just do it yourself. And I guess that's why we didn't go to self-check or personally, I didn't go to self-checkout because I didn't want to have to tell them I'm paying with my fruit and veggie card or it's, I didn't know exactly, I guess, how to word it. So I would just go through self-checkout. And honestly, the first time it was just easier to try it that way. I think I just got a few items and I was like, if it doesn't work or if I have problems, I don't know how this is all going to work, but I guess I could just pay with, you know, cash or whatever and just go and figure it out. But it was so easy. It was very convenient. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you 100% on that. Um, like I said, I did self-checkout all the time uh, when I used the card. So it was real easy, you know, for me. And like I said, if I had other um, things that I needed to get, well, why not? It's Walmart. You know, sometimes we just, I would just go there for the shampoo and conditioner and stuff. So, you know, it was convenient um, as far as that, but. HEB would have been nice, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, great. Thank you both. Um, so the last thing I'll do is just briefly summarize what I heard um, and, and then we'll be done. So, um, so overall, you know, it sounds like very positive experience with the program. Um, again, hearing 
how easy it was um, and uh, and that 